Okay, so like, I'm just gonna give you my my thing of what makes music good. Right. And that's like, two main things is like technical skill, mm-hmm. and like that can be like skill in playing an instrument, but also like, you know, like electronic musicians they'll like spend hours like putting together some yeah. kind of like I don't know melody or something that's got like some really good like some makes deep, some sound yeah. yeah but then like also emotion right because mm-hmm. like it makes you feel some shit yeah right you, you gotta feel it and I think that I don't know that's why I think metal is like the ultimate art form of music is because like you got a mix of technical skill mm-hmm. plus like crazy emotion and it can yeah. be like negative stuff but also positive stuff depending on what you listen to well There's yeah so many like subgenres and shit i think it's good that there are negative things in music because it, you know it's not necessarily supposed to make you feel good it's just supposed to make you feel and if you hear some shit yeah. in the lyrics that's like oh damn that that guy's going through something because he's upset about the world or maybe there's like someone yeah. in his life that's like upsetting him and then he pulls out the fucking sick guitar solo and he plays like e lydian you're like oh. god damn yeah but like the then the guitar solo too gives you that fucking that that emotion yeah even though it's like you know there's no lyrics in the guitar solo but the lyrics is the guitar solo exactly See? makes you feel it you know i also like... want to say i mean obviously so you've got like the sound and then there's technical skill but I'd argue that, like, you don't need technical skill to write, like, a bop, you know? Like, well, no. Yeah, well, that, that's why I'm saying there's, like, two things. Yeah. And, like, they're not... You don't need both. Mm-hmm. But that, that's why I think metal is the best, because it has both at the same time. And there's yeah. other genres of music that do the same thing. And you can do that with any music. It's yeah, just, like, that's, like, what makes it, you know? Yeah. Like, you gotta have some amount of either... Because if you don't, then you've got no skill, no technical anything, uh-huh. right? Because, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, skill physically, like I said. Mm. But, like, if you've got no emotion either, then it's, like, kind of really soulless. Exactly. Like if, if Which is where, like, you know, mainstream pop kind of ends up at. Mm. I would argue that soul is more important than technical skill. Because the thing is, at least for me personally, and I know not everyone is this way, if you've got a really technically impressive piece, but there's no soul, it's just like super duper straight. And like, it's like interesting because there's a lot of things going on. Like maybe if you play something like super duper fucking fast, like if there's no soul behind it, then it's just kind of boring. But you can be like, I think my, my best example of this is Nirvana. Or if you listen to Nirvana, I mean, I don't know if you're a fan of Nirvana, but I am. I've li- yeah, I, I mean, I've listened to it. Okay. I, I'll I listen don't want to say I'm a fan, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll listen to Nirvana, and I'll like their stuff. But it's like, Kurt Cobain is not, like, great at guitar, but he eh, writes some yeah. cool shit, and there's a lot of soul, and his lyrics are cool. But, yeah, you know. I mean, I mean you know, I think that's why, like, recently there's been a couple artists, like, fucking Bailey Eilish, which, I, oh, like, Bailey Eilish. really exploded because they put a lot of like emotion into their music yeah 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 in a time where that's like not common in like mainstream yeah music I, for a I long time say, i listen i listen to billy eilish um I, I mean like instantly i'm like that shit's really good because there, there's something there there's like melody there's cool sounds there's like you know i i feel like billy eilish is on the cusp and uh, granted i'm not like a huge billy eilish fan like i haven't like sat down and actually listened i've heard to maybe it. like three songs so yeah you know uh but from what i've heard it's like she's on the cusp of rediscovering like weird shit you know in mainstream because if you listen to like shit from the 80s 90s and even like early 2000s but like less mainstream people do some weird fucking shit they'd be Light, like Jimi Hendrix, dude lights his guitar on fire. There's like the Cure will do stuff. Crazy. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix is fucking awesome. Um, yeah, you'll have stuff from the Cure where they'll like put some really scary sounds and shit. Just like there's this one song that I listened to by the Cure. I can't remember the name of it, but the idea is like it's it's trying to simulate the sound of like walking around a subway at night. And at the end of the song, it fades out, and for some reason, they just have this like screech that's 10 decibels louder than the rest of the song and it's supposed to freak the fuck out of you <laughs> just jump scares you in the yeah middle literally of the song. fucking oh. freddy fazbear jump scare in a cure Get song absolutely blasted in the middle of the music yeah exactly that's funny not in that's the middle of the music at the, at the end well, of the, the song end of the, well is it yeah. the end of the album because if it's like the middle so. of the album that's extra funny 
No, I don't think. Uh, I think it's the middle of the album, which makes it even better because it just goes on the next song. But I think Billie Eilish is like on the cusp of rediscovering something like that. I say with yeah. no idea what Billie Eilish even really does. Same. I mean, I recently heard what was it? The last album from my man's uh, David Bowie's. David Bowie. Oh yeah. Yeah, and like the there's the intro to Black Star is kind of super funky, and the yeah. drums are like, poof, 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 poof. and I don't know, it's yeah. crazy and it's really good. And I'm like, I wish more music did more interesting stuff with percussion. Oh, that's so true. You don't hear that a lot. <sighs> in like yeah, in like modern pop music, you don't really, you don't really hear stuff like that super often. You'll have like, I feel like the most common thing that you you'll hear in like modern rap music uh especially oh and that's not to say, that's not to say that rap is bad bro are you dying no oh. i'm just like i i hear modern rap music and i just i hear that like 808 like the the hi-hat <laughs> you know shit like that yeah uh, and here's it, the thing it's like kind of basic and like sometimes mm -hmm. basic is fine yeah like Come on, like we will rock you is literally like yeah, exactly. Uh, the the That's kick fire. drum and a snare, but it's fire. Mm -hmm. But like, well, sometimes you need more than that. Most a lot of, of that, times you need most more of the that. fire of that song comes from Freddie Mercury's vocals because he's just nuts. He's just also so true. Good. Um, I I'm not trying to shit on modern rap because I think that there is modern rap. I, I as someone who's not oh. a fan of it, I think there is modern rap that's like pretty good. Um, yeah, you know, I was gonna mention that actually with like the whole emotion versus technical skill thing is there's a couple songs that i've heard i don't even know what they're called anymore but they had a lot of emotion in it and like despite the fact that like they're the behind the vocals is literally like one like synth track where like boom, boom, the whole mm -hmm. song there was like a ton of emotion in it and i thought that was really, really good yeah, yeah oh my god what are you just thinking about rap or are you like dying no i I'm playing a video game at the same time Bruh, as this, and Jesus it was Christ. I made a mistake. What game are you playing? It's a Vorion. It's like some blocky space shit. Uh, I've never, I've never even heard of that, bro. Exactly. Yeah, you're you always know me. playing. Yeah, I know you, and I know that you get on Steam, and you literally will just like be like, "Oh man, that fucking looks cool. I got, I got money. I'll just drop <laughs> five dollars on this game that I'll play once, yeah, and then you play it, and then sometimes yeah. it's really good, and sometimes it's fucking shit." Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's what you do when you it's all you do. Yeah, I mean, isn't your like daily routine wait, can I say like not like where you work, but like the company? I don't care, dude. You can okay. say whatever. So you, you work at Target, right? Yeah. So you Electronics. You what's your shit? Oh nerd. Like? Yeah. I just walk in seven AM at open, uh work. Uh go home. Yeah. And then you just, like, go home and you, like, play guitar and video games, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's the life. Easy. That's that's Dude. what you do, you know? If it, That's the simple. way to go. And mm. you know what? Sometimes simple is good. Once again. Yeah, just like the rap music, you know? I feel yeah. like a lot of <laughs> rap artists, if you listen to modern rap, you know how the, yeah. like the tracks that are always like everyone's like oh this one's fire it's the same like rhythm where they go i, I mean i'm gonna just hum because i don't have any words but they're like you know what i mean <laughs> that's like five songs at least that no that's like a hundred songs dude and I, okay I'm, well I don't yeah even know. i'm just thinking of the five songs that i've ever heard yeah but there's always that part there's always yeah. that part where they do that. Lil Nas did it in like one of his latest videos, and it's like Lil Nas. Lil Nas seems Man, pretty cool. Like fucking sicko mode song, oh. kind of good up until like the first minute and a half, and then like what's his face starts rapping, and I'm uh, like, eh. isn't sicko mo mode by that one guy, Travis Scott? Isn't it yeah, Travis Scott? He, the, the, the guy <laughs> who fucking Scott. like got the guy who like got people killed. Literally got people killed. Yeah. Oh my god. Yo, I, I'm just thinking about the the Metallica concert where like the fucking huge light thing fell down and like was crushing some people and they like stopped. Yeah. And like fucking, what's his face? The main singer Metallica was like trying to help him. No uh, one died there. Yeah. You exactly. Know? Like you know, literally 
it's like I mean I haven't seen the footage because I don't want to see like dead people because I'm a little little pussy. But oh, understandable. You like I I after that horrible news came out, you you like I got on Reddit and like all of like the front page was just super huge artists like way more like out there with their music like intense music metal music like Metallica than Travis Scott stopping shows and just being like hey yo that one guy back there is like passing out we need to stop the show turn off the lights everyone quiet get some water for that guy make some room it's like that's the yeah. metalist shit in the world like caring for your bros is metal as fuck <laughs> caring for the boys yeah but and like, then you, you have Travis yeah. Scott who literally oh. is like from I haven't seen the footage again but from what I've heard like they'll like their body surfing like passed out corpses to the ambulances because yeah. they're like holy shit and Travis Scott is fucking serenading these corpses with his shitty music <laughs> like oh my god and then his, like, his oh. fucking apology video where he won't leave his goddamn forehead alone like he no, I don't even want to think about apology videos and yeah. then like this guy yeah which like bruh but also apology videos. I mean, like, I don't know how this isn't, like, a thing that is constantly, like, being monitored for, considering, like, mm -hmm. when that happened, I re there was a news story that I read, like, oh, yeah, you know, this happened at a, like, a soccer game or something in Europe, in, like, 40 years ago or something, and, like, 20-something people died just to get, like, crushed against some fences. Yeah, exactly. And it's, like, if that happened one time, y'all should know this is, like, easily preventable. Just mm -hmm. don't overpack theaters i guess yeah, exactly uh, i mean it's it's it really shouldn't be that complicated primarily it's the venue's fault you know because they're just like oh we want to sell tickets we don't we don't give a fuck and mm. maybe the security is like not high enough if you know that this is something that could happen so it's it's definitely primarily the venue's fault and when i originally heard about what happened at the travis scott concert i was like okay well maybe you know maybe he didn't know like it's He's at least partially at fault, but, like, it's understandable. But then when you hear about the actual footage where he very clearly saw what was happening, and also you look at his past history where there was this one time he was crowd surfing and, like, some fucking, like, nine-year-old kid or some... Uh, that Don't take this as, like, this is, like, exaggeration for the bit. <laughs> but some fucking nine-year-old kid, like, took one of his shoes, and when he got back on stage, he's like, yo, fuck that guy, fucking beat the shit out of him. And then he's like... <laughs> Fucking like middle aged <laughs> fan started beating up this nine year old child what who took Travis this? Scott's shoes. So Actually, he's like blasting this child. I don't understand. Yeah. He's just a fucking bad dude, from what I can tell. I, yeah, uh, well. Yeah. I mean, I don't know yeah. him personally. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I think even if you don't know someone personally, someone who advocates like assaulting children, not yeah. cool, bro. Not cool. It's a shoe. You can literally buy like hundreds of thousands of those with your money yeah yeah exactly so many shoes and he's got to beat this kid for taking one of his shitty shoes <laughs> man you uh reasons. man there's so many things coming out that like i know that we are both like excited for like on wednesday i'm fucking hyped because part six of jojo drops and i'm like huge oh. into jojo yeah, yeah is gonna that is it gonna be i know it's netflix but is it gonna netflix. be netflix's thing where they drop the whole season uh no so what they're doing oh, shame. i'm kind not of? watching it then no kind of so what they're doing okay. is they're doing i think it's probably gonna be about 40 episodes they're doing like the first 12 oh all at once oh my god so i don't want to watch it until it's all out because i like to watch everything like fuck binge all like stuff it down my face yeah exactly. through my eyeballs you, um, do you, when does fucking Elden Ring, Elden Ring comes out, like, Elden Ring. middle of February, right? Yeah, middle of February, actually, this week on Friday, the new yeah. expansion for Final Fantasy XIV, critically acclaimed mm -hmm. MMO. Yeah, right. It's coming out, and I'm gonna play it with none of my friends, because none of them play it. Fuck you guys. <laughs> and people are gonna watch this and be like, I, I know that there's people in, like, our little server that I have, where they're, that, like, that have about dipping their toes into it but it's like I'm a back. lot huh yeah i don't know it's uh, easily i'd say it's the best mmo just because it's the only mmo i've played that i actually got into and okay. i've played a lot i played i played fucking wow i played guild warriors i played um uh, what's the other one shit I, I don't know i played like seven different mmos i played elder scrolls online mm. 
and none of them were able to actually capture my attention except for Final Fantasy. That must mean it's pretty it's damn like, good. Yeah. Well, it's because it's got 